Uh, I'd like to I'd like to do a book review today and uh, I borrowed from the library a couple of weeks ago it's a convenient store woman by Sayaka Murata. Uh, this book got the uh, um, Octagor um, Prize. Uh, in Japan there's a two prize um, award uh, for uh, literature or whatever. One is Aktaga Prize and the other one is an Aoki Prize. And uh, Aktaga Prize is uh, given to the, the book uh, which is more pure literature and an Aoki is the more um, popular you know, the genre uh, award. And uh, so I wa my hope was very high be because this 2016 it got Dr. Ga award, and um, but uh, it was it was written by the this author who is also um, uh, I think used to be uh, I don't know now but he she was a convenience store woman uh, she worked at convenience store uh, convenience store in Japan. Uh, I don't know the, the, the implication of that particular convenience store, but uh, what I understand uh, now is that the convenience store is everywhere. Uh, when I was there about 1970, 70, early 1970s, there is no such thing uh, as convenience store. There is no 7-Eleven or anything like that. But today, convenience store is everywhere, every corner of the town or city, they have a convenience store and uh, they are always like a 24 hours a day opening and uh, it has a uh, lots and lots of uh, food items, uh, uh, that means like uh, onigiri which is a rice bowl uh, which is very very popular for Japanese people uh, and the sandwiches and all kinds of drinks and uh, but you know almost everything you have you know just like a US convenience store um, it's very, very, uh, I would say, established, it established the Japanese culture, today's Japanese culture. Um, so I was hoping that, wow, you know, the kind of interesting and everything. But uh, um, when I started to read it, this is not a big, thick book, but I kind of a uh, um, little bit uh, struggled because. Uh, the writer is a woman who is um, this particular mind was depicting I think I would say today's young generation who are living in Tokyo maybe um, uh, know their mindset which is very different you know when I was living there and I didn't see that type of uh, culture the young culture uh, that's kind of interesting to see today's culture is a little bit more uh, I would say um, it's okay to be not working for example it's okay to be uh, very peculiar very um, you know uh, more or less like uh, there's a the, uh, phenomena, cultural phenomena called hikikomori Hikikomori is the person, the young person usually, who who doesn't go out anywhere. Uh, this person just stay in in his or her room and play games and something all day long without working and uh, without uh, contacting any other uh, social uh, friends or anything. But they just stay at home, and uh, so their existence is very, very <coughs> lonely and uh, very um, pro problematic for regular Japanese societies. But uh, I, what I understand is that uh, that type of people are, are all over in Japan now. And it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, I would say that today's cultural, Japanese cultural phenomena. And I think that's something to do uh, uh, with this. It's uh, it's about the motivation of this uh, writing is to depict those people, uh, 
but at the same time, uh, you know, as uh, the story goes on, you know, I kind of get frustrated. Why, you know, uh, this type of person exists, and uh, you know, uh, but at the same time, I have uh, admiration because these people, in their own way, they they um, they live, they thrive, and they they find their own solutions, and they they uh, they try to do all kinds of different uh, adventurous thing which is not normal for you know by 30 or 40 years standard <laughs> uh, today maybe become a little bit more uh, common and more popular uh, lifestyle like that and uh, it's about that and uh, uh, it's not uh, comfortable to read for me uh, for me as a personally I don't know today's um, a young culture of Japan and uh, but uh, through this I got to know a little bit and uh, it is something to do with the um, with the uh, I think that people stop uh, being you know in Japanese society that you have to live this way and that way and you have to follow the particular route, route to the success right and uh, some people go very nicely toward that particular path and uh, but some people don't some people uh, either fail to go through that or they just psychologically um, you know like a hikikomori psychologically unable to uh, to follow and uh, so it's uh, it's depicting that particular program, and so uh, I would say, you know, uh, for people who who want to get the inspiration from this book, uh, I would uh, um, say that uh, well, that's because uh, maybe the person who read put this book is to to. Um, to get the insights of the today's society, maybe. Uh, other than that, you know, I, when I was reading as a Japanese person, uh, I get so frustrated. If there is a, something like this going on, ah, uh, why, you know, it's kind of difficult and there's uh, lots of problems and all these things. So, but that's my opinion, and I think this one got the Octagon Award, which is, I think, um, most people, some of the literary people, enjoy this. Uh, they they thought it's funny, but I never thought it, this particular story is funny. You know, it's it's a very hard life, and uh, uh, you kind of criticize these people who who cannot uh, function well. Uh, but that's you know coming from old. Uh, timers, I think I would say, uh, and it's uh, today is uh, tremendously different, and uh, uh, you have to kind of uh, open your eyes and uh, accept the particular life, and then you you find the happiness there. Uh, so I think that's my my uh, take on it. Uh, I would, um, uh, you know, I would, uh, I I'm not sure I would recommend this. You know, I have been reading the the uh, Japanese literature uh, just now um, for um, you know last year. This year, I read uh, a classic uh, like uh, Natsume Soseki and uh, and other people's work. And some of them, um, Natsume, for example, I really really enjoyed and I recommend tremendously to anyone. Uh, but some of them uh, I, I, I just cannot recommend, like a Dazai. Osamu Dazai I cannot uh, recommend because it's, it's kind of a difficult uh, outlaw type of lifestyle and everything. It's, it's uh, um, not outlaw, psychological outlaw probably. And uh, Mishima, for example, it's a very violent. I started to read. Uh, some Mishima's book, and uh, I, I, I just 
couldn't continue because it's so violent and uh, oh, you know and uh, so uh, some of them a book uh, um, I really recommend uh, but I'm not sure I recommend this but anyway I read this so I just uh, wanted to do uh, my own personal personal um, perspective uh, uh, to this book uh, so okay bye